There are just three episodes left of Outlander Season 4. Episode 11 will see Claire and Jamie search for Roger, but what can we take away from the promo and synopsis? Claire, Jamie, and young Ian started their journey to find Roger in the last episode. The Outlander Season 4, Episode 11 promo and synopsis makes it clear that continues. What can we take away from the two teasers of the episode, titled If Not For Hope? It's time to break them down. I'll look at both together to see if we can figure out what to expect for each of our characters, including Murtaugh, who will cause a few changes to a particular storyline. There are just three episodes left of Outlander Season 4. Episode 11 will see Claire and Jamie search for Roger, but what can we take away from the promo and synopsis? Claire, Jamie, and young Ian started their journey to find Roger in the last episode. The Outlander Season 4, Episode 11 promo and synopsis makes it clear that continues. What can we take away from the two teasers of the episode, titled If Not For Hope? It's time to break them down. I'll look at both together to see if we can figure out what to expect for each of our characters, including Murtaugh, who will cause a few changes to a particular storyline. Jamie, Claire and young Ian embark on a long and uncertain journey to rescue Roger but while Jamie and Claire are united in their mission, they're miles apart emotionally. Meanwhile, Brianna struggles to keep hope alive as she waits for her parents to return and as Joe cast a plot to secure her a husband. In Wilmington, Murtaugh seeks Fergus's help with a dangerous task. 5. Brianna fights off proposals. It's hard not to feel sorry for Brianna right now. She didn't ask for any of this. All she wanted to do was warn her parents about the fire but she ended up raped, pregnant, and fearful for her hand-fasted husband's life. Now she has to deal with the advances of men. Going to Joe Casta's for safety was a good idea, but it sounds like Joe Casta either doesn't know the full story or she doesn't believe a hand fasting is good enough. It's time for Joe Casta to put on a dinner to find Brianna husband to take her and her unborn child. There is one person interested, but will she go for it? What about a certain gentleman? 4. Lord John Gray returns again. I'll admit that I grinned from ear to ear seeing David Barry on the TV screen. Lord John Gray is one of my favorite side characters and I'm excited to see him returning in this week's episode. We all know that he is an honorable man. He's taken Jamie's son in and raised him as his own. What about marrying Jamie's daughter? How will John even react when he learns that Claire and Jamie have a daughter? This is something they never mentioned and now it's another stab in the gut when it comes to something John can't offer Jamie. As Claire, Jamie, and young Ian take their time to return, could Brianna find comfort in Lord John Gray? And will they both share their own secrets? 3. Someone isn't making it through the episode alive. There's a clip of Jamie crossing himself and you can just about see Claire look to the ground solemnly. Someone won't make it through this episode. Will it be someone we know right now? The trailer and synopsis don't give this away. Book fans will know of the storyline, but I'm not going to give anything away for those who stick with just the show or watch the show first and avoid book spoilers. What I will say is that the death causes someone out of the trio looking for Roger to stay behind. Who will that one be? 2. Claire and Jamie have a relationship to work on. Apart from by the end of the last episode, I haven't seen Claire and Jamie's relationship lack intimacy. After the events of the last episode, it's not surprising that the two aren't quite on the same page emotionally. There's a moment of Claire apologizing to Jamie for keeping her secret. I'm assuming we'll see Jamie apologizing for some of the things he did, too. This will hopefully set them back on track. They've been through these ups and downs before. In fact, Every season has included some sort of argument so it was only a matter of time it would happen in Outlander Season 4. 1. Murtaugh and Fergus go hunting for a pirate. Meanwhile, Murtaugh and Fergus are teaming up together. This could be in Wilmington, although it's not clear just yet. It makes sense for it to be in Wilmington since that's where both are based. With everything that happened to Brianna, Murtaugh surely isn't going to stand for Bonnet being out and about. Fergus will also have that view considering what happened to him as a child. So, 
it's not surprising to find out that both find out where Bonnet is and decide to go after him. The question is what this will mean for them. This is a storyline we can't look at the books for guidance with since Myrtle died in Voyager. So, we'll have to hope and pray that Myrtle makes it out alive and not arrested.